Hi, it's Carl from West Riding Hyundai and Kong, and today I'll be showing you how to use launch control in the new Kona N. The new Kona N is a DCT box, which means it's completely different from the i30N manual launch control sequence. So, let's get straight into it. So, launch control on the Kona N and the i30N DCT is just as simple as the manual. So, certain conditions must be met for launch control to work, such as your seatbelt must be fastened, your steering wheel must be aligned and straight, and your engine must be up to temperature. So, to activate launch control, all you're going to need to do is go into your end mode settings, scroll across, you can either activate it with the launch control button there, or you can go into performance options and activate it here. In this menu, you can alter what RPM your car will launch at. So if I deactivate launch control, and I can set it to launch at 3000 RPM, and then you would then activate it again. So then the activation was going to last five minutes. So to then launch your car, all you're going to need to do is put it in either end mode or a custom mode with the engine turned up and the traction control on sport. You're going to then press your brake pedal, make sure your handbrake is up, put the car into drive, let go of the brake pedal with your right foot, and then depress the brake with your left foot and then depress the accelerator with your right foot, as I'll now demonstrate. So the car is in drive with a handbrake up and then going to brake and accelerate and then the launch control is active. You then have eight seconds to launch the vehicle. After that eight seconds, launch control will be deactivated to save wear on the engine components. I hope this video helped and if you have any questions, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.